Hello and welcome to this channel. My name is Dick van Oeveren and in this video I will show you how to set up Radius and TechX Plus authentication and authorization for the REST interface with Aruba OS switches. For example the 2930 and 3810 series. With the introduction of software version 1608 a new feature for REST has been introduced. Whereas previously you could only authenticate using the credentials that were stored on the switch, you can now use an external Radius or TechX Plus server to authenticate and authorize. And in this video I will show you how this is done. For the authentication and authorization you can use any Radius server that supports IETF standard VSAs. And in this demonstration I will use Aruba's ClearPass. Let me start with the Radius setup on the switch. I've got a switch that has been configured for IP and therefore uh, it's accessible. Here's the switch. Let me show you the running configuration. There's not much in there except for the IP address. And let me start with the radius server. And this is the ClearPass server. I am going to provide a key. Okay, and the next is to enable radius authentication for uh, REST. So what I'm going to do AAA authentication uh, for REST login radius local. Now for the last parameter you can choose to have a failback to either local authentication where the radius server is not a, so when the radius server is not available um, because the user account I will be using uh, is not present on the local switch uh, that I, you know I set it to local um, typically what you will see is that when the radius server is not available the uh, the authentication will fail then in, in that situation and uh, so on the second command is enabling the um, uh, REST authentication for RADIUS. Uh, REST enable RADIUS. And the other thing you can do is you can set some accounting for, uh, for REST as well. Uh, exec Start stop radius and setting for system stop only radius and finally uh, enabling the rest interface, which is pretty simple. It's just rest interface. And uh, so, and that's it for the for the switch. Really easy. Now let's check out ClearPass. Um, we'll start with uh, the device. Checking the device. Let me see. That's here. Mobile first. You can see the IP address. There is a radius shared secret configured here, so we should be good to go for the device. The first step or the next step is to create a profile. That's going to be a radius based enforcement. Um, just give it a descriptive name. Uh, let's say REST Ruba OS. And we are going to assign an attribute ITF. Uh, the attribute is service type. And the value would be administrative user. Save that one. So that's the profile. Let's create a policy. Let's call it REST Aruba OS and set the default profile to deny access. And let's define a rule here. And that rule will be the tips rule for the authenticated user. So if the user authentic is authenticated, we are pushing the uh, REST Aruba 
OS profile. And then next is to create the service. It's going to be a generic radio service. Again, give it a name. And then for the service, we have to add two service rules um, for IETF, radius IETF. The first one is the NES port type equals, and then that's virtual, and add a second IETF, which is the service type. that equals the NAS prompt user. Okay, let's go to the authentication tab. Um, we're doing radius, so that's unencrypted, so we're using the PAP authentication method, and I am authenticating against the local user repository. Obviously, you can have other repositories as well if you want, but for now, we're just using the local user repository. And then in the uh, enforcement uh, tab, I am assigning the REST Aruba OS uh, policy. Before checking if it works, let's check the local user database um, for the user entry. So there's a user entry for REST admin, and that's the account that we will be using to log in. And that's it for the radius setup. Um, let's put it to the test. I've got Postman running here. Um, and so let me show you the login process for that. Uh, you can see the URL here, which is the uh, structure for logging in. And in the body, I have to provide a JSON uh, structure with the username, REST admin, password enable. So let's see if I can get a cookie back which I do. So here's the cookie that has been returned. So that implies that the login was successful. Let me just go back to clear past, go to the access tracker, and you can see here my uh, radius authentication was successful and the uh, radius attributes are returned to the switch. So that's working fine. Let's see if I can also obtain some information now. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to copy the cookie and I'm going to uh, get some uh, status information here. So what I have to do is I have to replace this cookie in here so that it has the right cookie value and then send the information. So you can see here is I can get that information from the switch. So so that's for radius authentication with uh, with an external radius server. Working fine. Let's move to TechX Plus now, which is obviously a more secure way of working with the API because all the communication between switch and TechX server is encrypted. Um, first, let's go to the switch. Uh, so we have to configure TechX on the switch first. What we're going to do is we are going to create a TechX server. Um, that will be, again, that will be the clear path server. Key. Okay. Um, we can set up some accounting. For TACAX. Stop only TechX and AA counting commands. Stop only also for TechX. And then uh, another two commands to enable TechX for REST, which is AAA authentication. Oh, authentication. Uh, REST. Login TechX. 
Now remember, um, in the in the radius section, I said there are like two options. So we have, or like a couple of options, we can either fall back to the local authentication or select none for for fillback. So in this case, I'm just using local as fallback, and then enable uh, TACX authentication uh, rests enable globally okay uh, and that's that's for the switch and now let's move back to clear pass um, again clear pass it's the same process we are uh, following first uh, let me check the device whether TACX is configured here. You can see there is a shared secret configured here, so it should be the same as on the switch. And let's create a profile first. Um, let's edit. It is going to be a TACX plus based enforcement. And let's call it REST TACX OS. And let's go to services here. We'll set the privilege level to 15, which is privileged user. Uh, I need a shell, and I'm going to uh, add a service attribute here, which is the privilege level, and I have to set the value to 15. Um, so you've got the commands. Um, tab here as well uh, doesn't really uh, work with rest uh, commands this is only for sh for running shell commands so we can leave that either enabled or disabled it doesn't really matter so we'll save the profile here and next is the policy adding a policy uh, which will be a tech x plus policy and uh, so the default would be TACX deny profile so if you're not authenticated um, you're not allowed access uh, just give it a name and we are setting the service rule again which is again is the same service rule as we have used for the radius one equals uh, user authenticated and then once the user is authenticated, we can assign that profile. That's that. And then finally, the service. Create a service, which will be a TechX Plus enforcement. And let's move to the authentication tab. We're using the local user repository and the enforcement is the REST TACX Aruba OS. Save it and that should be it. Um, okay, so let's check out the authentication again in with Postman. So what I have to do is obviously I'm, I'm getting a new, uh, new cookie now. So I'm just sending the login. I can use the same account password and see if a cookie is returned and it is returned um, let's go back to clear pass and check out whether the appropriate service has been triggered and you can see that here the TACX service has been pushed which is good and let's go back to TACX again or to postman again and get so let's copy the cookie and put the cookie in the header and send the information. There you go. And everything is working for TACX as well. Really cool. Um, so this concludes this short video on how to configure Radius and TACX authentication for REST with Aruba OS. 
switches. I hope that you liked the video. If you did, please hit the like button. And if you have any suggestions or questions, let us know. And finally, as usual, have a great day and hope to see you soon back on this channel.